Okay, in this video, we are going to look at uh, one more type of NFAs called the Epsilon NFAs. So we have already looked at DFAs. We have already looked at DFAs. We also know about NFAs, right? And uh, now we are studying about another type of NFAs called the Epsilon NFAs. Remember, the, the, the letter Epsilon looks like this. So epsilon NFAs. Okay. So why do we study about epsilon NFAs? Now we know that uh, NFAs are more easier, are more easier to design compared to DFAs. I mean, now now epsilon NFAs are much more, are much more easier, much more easier to design compared to compared to even NFAs. So we, we, we started with the design of NF, DFAs uh, and then we realized that the design of NFAs is much more easier. And now again, we are, we are looking at the design of Epsilon NFAs, which will allow us to design for a given language in a much more easier way. So th that's the motivation of why we study Epsilon NFAs. Now, now before moving to the uh, introduction to Epsilon NFAs, I just want to convey uh, something about the notation for epsilon. So in some textbooks, they, they write epsilon using this, this kind of a notation. And in some other textbooks, they have this notation. So remember, this, this can be invariably used for representing epsilon. So both these symbols can be used for uh, representing epsilon. Remember that sigma, the symbol sigma is like this. So so when you write, you should have clear distinctions between epsilon, the epsilon symbol and uh, sigma symbol. So it is, it's, I think it's better to follow this symbol, this symbol, because it, is, it doesn't resemble the sigma symbol. Uh, again, uh, again, re remember that this symbol, this particular symbol, this symbol you see here is also used to represent belongs to relation. For example, I can write, uh, I can write a, b, a, b belongs to sigma star. So if you see something like this, so in this context, it, it has to be understood as, uh, as a symbol to indicate belongs to relation. Okay. So whereas if you see it just in front of NFAs, epsilon symbol, that, that means it's, it's, it's uh, the symbol stands for uh, the, the epsilon. So we, we already have learned about what is an epsilon. So epsilon, epsilon actually stands for a null string or an empty string. So it, it is actually a, it is actually used to represent an empty string, right? It is also called as a null string. So if you add epsilon to any given string, it, that, that string will remain the same. For example, I have a simple, say, let, let's say I have a simple A, right? Now, now if I add epsilon to this, okay? So if I add epsilon to, a, a then it becomes a epsilon but remember this is nothing this is nothing but a itself okay similarly if you add epsilon in front of a where a is a symbol a is a symbol okay and now this is also equivalent to a right so the addition of epsilon before or after a particular string or a symbol doesn't alter that symbol i mean it, it is all it's all the same okay so this is also true with a word also. So suppose I have a word like A, B, uh, B, A, and then followed by an epsilon. So this is also this is also going to be exactly same as A, B, B, A, right? So again, there can be any number of epsilons also. So there can be epsilons in both sides as well, like this. So epsilon uh, in the left side, it's also possible epsilon can be there in the right side. So again, all this just means A, B, B, A. So remember, epsilon is, is nothing but an empty string or a null string. So the addition of it will not make any, ch any changes to the existing string. But we have very interesting, very interesting, um, you know, ways of creating, creating NFAs if you use epsilons. Okay, so the, which means I, I'm going to use epsilon transitions. So if you, if you find an epsilon NFA, I can have epsilon transitions in our epsilon NFA. So uh, we will look into epsilon transitions with an example. 
So the key thing here to understand in an epsilon NFA is that uh, in an epsilon NFA, we can have epsilon transitions. Okay, so we will understand this with the help of a help of a diagram. Now we have already identified that epsilon NFAs are nothing but NFAs with epsilon transitions, right? Now, so if you look at this this particular diagram, this particular diagram over here, you can see that there is there is an epsilon transition here, and uh, uh, this epsilon transition makes this NFA an epsilon NFA. Now, now epsilon transitions are going to be very interesting. So let's look at uh, let, let's look at the, the the strings that are accepted by this NFA, right? So if you look at the strings which are getting accepted by this NFA, so what about uh, what about the simple A? So if you have just just the simple A, so if you have simple A, will it be accepted? Yes, the answer is yes, because A is nothing but A epsilon. You can write A as A epsilon. There is nothing wrong in it. So if you write A as A epsilon, we can see that we can see that this uh, this A epsilon. So if you if you are at Q0, then you, while you're getting a getting an A, you will be back at Q0. And if you get an epsilon, you will be in Q1, which is the final state. So A epsilon is going to be accepted by this NFA. A epsilon is nothing but A. So A is going to be accepted by this, by this epsilon NFA. Similarly, similarly, what, what about B? B can be written as, B can be written as epsilon B. There's nothing wrong in that. So if you're getting, getting an epsilon B, epsilon B, okay, right? So, so once you get an epsilon from Q0, you are at Q1. Again, you're getting a B. Again, you're at Q1. So this is also, okay, this is also accepted. The, the 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 symbol b is also accepted by this yeah. by this epsilon nfa now now what about what about aa so so aa is, is can be thought of as aa epsilon right so in that sense it's it is also accepted so any number of a's any number of a's is also accepted similarly any number of b's is also accepted right because the, any number of b's can be considered as epsilon and then any number of b's right so this is also getting accepted similarly what about a b look at this a b can be considered as a epsilon b there is nothing wrong in that so a b is also accepted so what about a a b b so this is also accepted because again we can consider this as a a epsilon and then b b Similarly, similarly, any number of A's, any number of A's followed by, followed by any number of B's is accepted by this, by this NFA, right? So, so we can actually generalize, generalize the language, which is, which is getting accepted by this epsilon NFA as L, the language is given by A raised to M in A raised to M, B raised to N, such that, such that, n n is greater than or equal to zero right so remember uh, remember both m and n m comma n m comma n can be greater than or equal to zero so when when it becomes one of them becomes zero it is going to be a string uh, with either a or b alone right now now again remember that sigma sigma is nothing but a comma b so this is the language represented by this Epsilon NFA. So, so uh, look at look at how how elegantly uh, this particular language can be expressed in terms of an epsilon NFA. So, so this is the this is our first this is going to be our first example. So we'll also look, we will be looking at um, looking at more examples, and then it will it will become very clear to you. Now, suppose that you are given with this language. This language is defined like this. Uh, a, B whole raised to N, where N is greater than or equal to one. Okay, and remember the alphabet set is nothing but A comma B. So this means that uh, the pattern A, B, A, B can repeat once or more. So it essentially means that this language, this language, this language is going to accept strings having, having this pattern. So, so the language is going to accept strings having this pattern. I, it has to be at least an AB or 
ए बी ए बी और ए बी ए बी ए बी सो एनी नंबर ऑफ ए बी ओके सो सो इफ 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 दिस पैटर्न इज ऑब्सर्ड इन योर इनपुट स्ट्रिंग देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी गेटिंग एक्सेप्टेड remember that some of the strings that are not going to get not going to get accepted are go, are a a a a will not be accepted b b will not be, will not be accepted similarly a b a will not be accepted only patterns which has got got the form uh, which has got repeating a b's in it at least one a b is is clearly indicated by saying that n is greater than or equal to 1 right okay similar so so patterns of repeating a b's with at least one ab is going to be getting accepted by this language so what essentially now we are going to do here is that we are going to compare we are going to compare the dfa and nfa and epsilon and nfa for the same language so we can actually actually design a dfa for this language we can also design an nfa for this language we can also design an epsilon and nfa for the same language now once we have created once we have designed all this we will know we will come to know uh that epsilon and nf phase epsilon and nf phase can can uh, can uh, ease our thought process of designing uh, the you know the given language uh, it means that the design becomes very straightforward now now if you look at the dfa for our problem this is going to be like this so you can have an a and uh, so if if this is this is going to be your starting state so let, let me indicate this as the starting state here and similarly for the nfa this is the starting state okay so if you look at the dfa here so this dfa has got four states okay remember this is uh, the the state which is qd here is at that state okay so so since we need to we need to show all the transitions on all symbols uh, this is going to be a little more complicated we have we have to have four states and then we have to show all the transitions nfa becomes even more easy the thought process for designing an nfa becomes more easy so you you need not worry about that that states you know you, uh, you know the transitions which are leading you to a dead state is is not necessarily to be indicated and so this becomes easier uh, the thought process for designing an nfa is is much uh, much easy compared to the thought process for designing a dfa now now the design of design of an epsilon nfa is even more straightforward so let, let let me let me design this and then it will become very clear to you. so 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 if i want to accept strings having pattern ab 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 at least one ab in it so just i want to create something like this so i have a q0 to start with then i have an a which goes to q1 and then i have a b which goes to q2 right and now uh, now this q2 has to be a final state right so now now what i'm going to do is just one transition like this okay and then i am saying this is going to be this transition has to be performed upon epsilon so this essentially this is this is your epsilon nfa for this problem okay so this this is what we are interested in okay so so if you look at this look at this epsilon nfa the thought process for designing this epsilon nfa is very straightforward so you you need to think a b a b a b as as nothing but uh, like so a b epsilon a b epsilon a b any number of times so so the addition of epsilon doesn't make any difference so this this is nothing but a b a b a b a b a b any number of times right so 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 you you might have got a got an understanding of how you know the, the epsilon nfa the thought process for designing an epsilon nfa is going to be much easier uh, compared to the thought process for designing a dfa or an nfa so this is going to be more straightforward in many many cases so so that, that's why we want to we want to take advantage of the leverage this uh, uh, leverage its advantages while designing and remember remember there are software tools available to convert you know if you are if you are having an epsilon nfa uh, there there are tools which which allows you you to convert it into nfa and then there are tools to allow you to convert an nfa to a dfa so for all these there are tools available so for a, for for a human being it is very easy 
it is very easy to create epsilon NFAs, design epsilon NFAs, and then uh, can convert it to NFAs or DFAs, whatever. So again, remember for, for a computer, a computer actually needs a DFA. For a computer system to process, uh, every transition must be known to it. Okay, so, so uh, a DFA, a computer works faster for a DFA, okay. Uh, but whereas human mind works faster for an epsilon NFA. So this is going to be very, uh, this is a key understanding. So even though we say it is very easy to design, this design aspect, you know, the design aspect is manual, okay. So we are talking about the manual design aspect. Uh, but 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 the, but at the end of a computer, if you look at the look in the perspective of a computer, a computer can process a DFA. Uh, DFA has DFA is in a much easier way. So DFA is preferred for a computer, whereas the, the uh, you know design for looking at the design part, epsilon NFA is going to be easier for for manual design. Now now let us look at the idea of epsilon closure of a given state. So the epsilon closure of a given state is the set of all states, is the set of all states that can be reached from that state by reading only an empty string. That is, uh, that is an epsilon string. So that's called the epsilon closure of that state. For example, for example, so before going further, let me write down the definition for, for more clarity. So now, now let us look at an example of uh, an, taking an epsilon closure. So suppose I want to take the epsilon closure of Q0. So let, let me write epsilon closure, epsilon closure of epsilon closure of Q0. So remember, remember Q. Uh, so when you look at the epsilon closure of Q0, Q0 is definitely a state in that because Q0, you, you are already at Q0, right? So the state in which you are already in is, is, also, is, is, is definitely going to be present in the epsilon closure of that state. So if you're looking at the epsilon closure of Q0, then Q0 will, will definitely be there. And along with that, you have to check uh, the other states uh, to which you can reach just by using epsilon. So, so if, you, if you look at here, if you look at here, you can you can identify that from Q zero from uh, let, let let me take my pointers so okay um, okay from Q zero from Q zero upon epsilon you can reach Q one again again uh, again one more epsilon you can reach Q two right so so just by following the empty string. Okay, so from Q0, you can, you can reach to Q1. From there, again, you can, uh, following the empty string, you can reach to Q2. So uh, th there are no other transitions for epsilon here. So these are the only two transitions. So from Q0, you can actually reach to Q1 and to Q2 by following the empty strings. So, so, so this essentially means that so epsilon course of Q0 is going to be Q0. It's going to be Q0, Q1, and Q2. Right. So, what about what about the epsilon closure of uh, epsilon closure of Q one? Let, let's now define the epsilon closure of Q one. So, epsilon closure of Q one. Okay. So, to find the epsilon closure of Q one, you have to look at uh, again. Again, Q one itself is going to be a part of part of the epsilon closure of Q one. So. Again, now from Q1, where and all you can reach just by following the MD string. So if you look at here, uh, there is there is only one epsilon transition which is defined to Q2. And from Q2, there are no other epsilon transitions. So, so it means that from Q1, uh, you can possibly reach only Q2 just by following an empty string, right? So Q2 is also going to be part of your, uh, part of your epsilon closure for Q1. Okay, so here I should also have Q2. And similarly, what about what about the epsilon closure of uh, Q two? Okay, so if you look at the epsilon closure of closure of Q two, also we have to also look at the epsilon closure of closure of Q three. Okay, so so if you if you if you, if you look at the epsilon closure of Q two, so you can see that from Q two 
there are no outgoing images. It has an epsilon C more than Q2 here. So the epsilon closure of Q2 just contains Q2. Similarly, similarly, if you if you look at Q3, Q3, similarly, if you look at Q3, Q3 also there is there are no outgoing edges using epsilon. So 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 for it, the epsilon closure of Q3 contains only Q3. Okay, so this also contains only Q3. So this is the this is the idea of epsilon. Now, uh, now it's it's important to remember that we are, we are going to extensively apply epsilon closure while while converting an epsilon NFA to NFA. So the application is 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 when we we are going to convert we are going to convert epsilon NFA. We are going to convert epsilon NFA to NFA. Okay. So uh, so while doing so, we we repair we need the help of epsilon closures, right? So the, so the idea of epsilon closure is very, very, uh, very, very essential. 